everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Katarina. Today I want to start a quick project pan for the end of this year. I do have here quite a few products, 20 actually in total. And I would say the majority of these products are products that are on their last leg. The reason I want to focus on finishing them is that I don't necessarily want to bring them with me to the next year. Especially since I'm going to film my next makeup inventory somewhere in January. It's so annoying, at least for me, to have products that are just like a couple of uses away from being finished. And then there's like some hair care products, some body care that I just never use. Like there's not much left, but I use it so rarely and it's just sitting there. And I just don't want to bring those products with me to the next year. Also, I do have here some color cosmetics that is really unrealistic for me to finish during the rest of the year. But I want to select them as focus products because I do think that right now is the season when I would enjoy colors like this a little bit more. So I do have here six makeup products that my goal is to finish. And these are mainly complexion products and 10-1 mascara. And I will say it has been a while since I have panned these sort of products because my makeup collection is really curated enough so that I'm able to go through my products before they expire. However, as I said, I would rather have these products gone uh, by the end of the year or at least by my next makeup inventory. So that's why I want to put a little bit more effort towards them. So the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer I have always wondered why they had to put a name this long on this product. This is hydrating primer. I wasn't using it in summer, but now I have started using it again since my skin doesn't get quite as oily anymore. I do have a combination skin. There's not much left. I um, wasn't able to see through how much there is, but this one will be pretty easy finish. Okay, then I do have here the Essence Fresh and Fit Foundation. This one is in the set 10 Fresh Ivory. So there we go. As you see, I have maybe a third left or maybe even a little bit less. So yeah, there's not too much left, but what makes this a little bit more difficult to finish is the fact that this one is slightly too dark for me on its own. So today I used one pump of this and one pump of another foundation. And now I do think the shade match is pretty good and at least I didn't notice any weird line here, like where the foundation ends. Okay, next I do have here the Becca and Smashbox under eye corrector, which is a really nice under eye corrector, but it's kind of on its last leg. So I would just like to finish it. And then I would like to try the Catrice under eye corrector that is really similar. Under eye corrector is something that I use every day because I do prefer a concealer that is slightly more natural uh, rather than being super full coverage because most of the time those super super full coverage concealers are quite cakey on my under eye. Then I do have here a powder. This one is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And as you can see, I have way less than a half of the product left. And then the last complexion product is my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This one is pretty old, <laughs> like I have owned it for at least a couple of years. For a while I didn't want to use this specific one on every day, it was more like a special occasion. But now I just use this one on my every day because it's my only setting spray. My guess is there's maximum third of the product left. And then the last makeup product that I want to finish is the Essence Lash Without Limits Brown Mascara. This one has been open probably for six months right now. I don't necessarily always throw my mascaras out when they have been open for six months, like some people do, but at the same time I'm not comfortable using a mascara that has been open for a year, for example. So I would like to finish this one. Uh, during the rest of the year. Okay, then there is going to be five makeup products that I have selected to be focus products. So these are products that by no means are realistic for me to finish, but I hope I can make some progress. So first I do have the Essence, the blush in the set piece poke. And here you can see what it's looking like. I have hit pan, but the pan is rather small. I hope that I could maybe hit side pan and clear that side a little bit. So this is actually what I am wearing today, kind of like as my blush and bronzer all-in-one product or two-in-one product. So I'm not wearing any bronzer today. And anyways, since learning that I am more likely a bright spring than warm autumn in the seasonal color analysis, after that I have used really 
life hand with bronzer because it can so quickly make my face look muddy so I use just a really really little bit of this like around here and then here kind of like as a blush and bronzer duo but yeah this one totally is more like an autumn color than a spring color which is fine especially this time of the year I don't necessarily always want to gravitate towards something really bright and I just find these kind of colors easier and especially today since I'm wearing red lipstick but at the same time I would like to make some progress on this one it's annoying to have like a um, depotted pan because now that I had to throw away my expired single eyeshadows now I only do have this one and another essence the blush in my magnetic palette and I have nothing else there then I do have here an eyeshadow palette and now I think I am going to just quit my uh, eyeshadow panning project that I just started. I started the project before I had those old eyeshadows expired and when those eyeshadows expired it really took a lot of my eyeshadow panning motivation out of me. After that I also really started to question my color season and realized that I actually believe that I am a bright spring and I think for me it's most flattering when I do a really light eyeshadow like I have done today. So while I know a lot of people have enjoyed watching my eyeshadow panning content I think that kind of eyeshadow panning is just not serving me anymore the way it should. However, I want to pick a focus palette that in my opinion is kind of suitable for this time of the year and maybe if I keep doing this kind of quick project pans next year, which I very well might do if this project goes well, maybe then I am going to select another focus palette but the focus palette that I have selected right now is my Huda Beauty Toffee Brown Obsessions. From this palette I did actually take out some mattes so this one this one and this one maybe I will show you the palette like it was uh, when it is new so there was a yellow there was kind of like a caramelish orangey shade and there was a red brown. All of those colors I just felt are not necessarily the most flattering colors on me. I still decided to keep the brown matte and the cream matte because those are actually something that I might use. Today I actually used the brown to do my eyebrows. But the shimmers I decided to keep and for this project I hope that I could finish this shimmer over here. It looks like there is quite a bit left but I have learned that these shimmers actually go really really quickly and the formula of some of the shimmers at least remind me a lot of the Colourpop Super Shock formula so it's one of those that it kind of moves when you touch it so that's why it looks <laughs> that way. It would be nice to hit pan on this one because I know I'm really close. Okay then I have picked some lip products I want to focus on. I do have here one lip liner, one lip gloss and one lipstick. So the lip liner is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip sheet lip liner and this one is in the set Iconic Nude which actually is many people's favorite and I have always wondered why I don't like it more like this is such a warm autumn color but this one just is too muted and too uh, dark for me. This doesn't really want to focus but I hope you can see that where I have sharpened where that line goes is uh, before the letter L. Oh no and now my lip gloss went laying a little bit hopefully yeah I can see it already like moving back to where it had settled. This is actually a lip gloss that I can wear with that lip liner so if I fill my lips completely with that lip liner I can then wear this lip gloss on top of it. So I think that is a way for me to make both of them work a little bit better. This one is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. This one it's kind of like a nice lip gloss but I find for me if I don't have any tan it's just really unnatural looking. It's just weirdly orangey and it doesn't look like it belongs to my face and now it has settled already back so I hope you can see where the product goes. I do have quite a bit left. I do find that these Wendy Beauty gloss bombs go pretty quickly. The formula is super thick and it also shows in a way that the product goes super quickly compared to a lip gloss that is really thin and runny. But yeah, hopefully I can make some progress with this one and next year I for sure want to finish this because next summer it's going to be two years old. And then there is one lipstick that I have now picked to this project. This is the lipstick I'm wearing right now. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 lipstick in the shade Red Hot Susan which I got when I thought that I am warm autumn because I thought this is going to be the perfect warm autumn red lipstick and this probably would be but I feel for me it's 
slightly too orange but at the same time I think this time of the year is when I would get more use out of this I know once we get past the new year and uh, before in spring early summer I get any tan I'm not going to wear it at all because I have now another red lipstick that is more of that classic blue based draw red so here you can see what it looks like I have not yet uh, reached that lip but at the same time, I'm not far away. I will try to wear red lipstick more from now on because it has always been my favorite makeup look. But then it has, for whatever reason, become for me a really special occasion thing that I would only do for things like date night or some sort of a celebration. Then I have selected a Focus nail polish. This is the Catrice Brown Collection nail polish in the shade Unmistakable Style, which I'm actually wearing it today so as you can see it is kind of like a shimmery a dark brown and uh, here you can see that the bottle is almost full I did mark it with a different nail polish actually I decided to pick this one uh, for my focus nail polish although it's not realistic to finish because right now is the season when I would enjoy a color like this it is dark, it is really warm, it is really autumnal, so I just don't see myself wanting to use a color like this other seasons. I will also say that perfume is something that I could easily pan in this project, so if I have just a little bit left or a smaller perfume or maybe a sample, I could put it into this kind of project. However, right now I don't have any samples that I think are really clearly fall and holiday season samples. And then also, the vast majority of my perfumes are bought this year. There's actually only one that I didn't buy this year. It is this, the bodies of one. So then the other perfumes that I have are new. Yes, I do have some smaller ones, but I don't want to finish them right now this season. And then with those perfumes that I consider being really fall and winter appropriate, I'm still kind of like in the testing phase. So I still need to figure out what perfume works best for what. And uh, because of that, I don't want to try to make progress on any of those and anyways they're all new I'm not in a hurry of finishing them so that's why I'm not including any perfume but if I do a similar type of project in winter then there might be some samples uh, that I would like to finish okay then the rest of the products are other beauty products than makeup or like perfume nail polish this first one is actually really random it is a hydrating super balm. I'm not even sure what brand this one is, but this one is something that I got from the Pipbox advent calendar back in 2020. Never again will I get another beauty subscription box because it's annoying to have these products laying around. This one is who knows how long past the expiration. I mean, it probably reads here somewhere. And anyways, I do have quite a bit of these kind of like lip balmy, Vaseline type of products. So time to start really using some of them up. This one I don't like to use on my lips, although you basically could, but this one has like uh, some citrus scent there. So I find on my lips this one is a little bit tingling. So I have mainly used it for cuticles, but now I have realized that using this only for my cuticles is not going to uh, get me rid of this product before like we are in the next decade So I'm going to use it on my cuticles on my dry elbows on my dry heels if necessary because I just want it out Thankfully there is not too much left. I have even hit the bottom I don't know if you can really see it, but it's it's kind of visible there and I have made pretty good progress with it. Then I do have here a product that I actually got from my sister uh, just a couple of weeks ago. This one was something that she had been using. She has used maybe a half of this, but she doesn't really enjoy it because it's kind of like crazy. So I said I can take it. This is like a body lotion type of product. It's from a brand Luonkos and it is their body cake. It looks like a bar soap, but it is some sort of a like moisturizing balm. Uh, that you wrap in your skin. I will say I have not used any body moisturizer in a while now. Uh, in summer, if I felt I got burned in the sun, I maybe used some, but now I have not just felt a need to use anything. But we are now getting into the season when the weather starts to get cooler, we start to get some minus decrease, and that is when my skin, my body skin goes really dry and I just need to lotion my body every single day. Next I do have a real gimme, however, I have been looking at this product for like the past couple of months and been thinking that oh I should finish that. This one is an aloe vera gel from Holika Holika. 
the product line goes just like right down there and there's some gathered like on the top and uh, to the sides. I just don't feel I need to use aloe vera for really anything. I think it's best for sunburn but I think the second best option for me to use aloe vera is when I have shaved to calm down any irritation that I might have. That is maybe how I'm going to use this. Okay, 10 couple of skincare products here. I do have from the brand Pure and Care their AHA Peeling Serum. The ring light is kind of reflecting, but it is around there. I have actually had this product since last spring, probably. I way prefer lactic acid when it comes to chemical exfoliating, but I have not allowed myself to buy one before this one is finished. Uh, but then I just noticed that I don't use this as often as I would use lactic acid. So I just need to put more effort to finishing it. Anyways, it has been open now a little bit longer than the expiration date. This is the Evia face cream, uh, anti-aging one. We have now gotten to the season when I don't wear sunscreen every day. We just don't get that much of UV exposure. And also we have gotten to the season when daylight is lesser and lesser. I do wear sunscreen on those days that it is sunny and I know that I will be outside during daylight. Other than that, I don't bother. Uh, so this is what I have been using instead. There's not much left here, like it is on the bottom. Then the rest are hair products, one hair care products, couple of styling products. I do have the Tresemme Rich Moisture Shampoo in 100ml bottle, so kind of like a travel size, which I have been kind of saving for if I travel, I can take this with me. Every time I go somewhere where I might need this, like we went to Tallinn, it has been a week now since our anniversary trip and then in summer we have gone somewhere for a couple of nights. I always forget to take this with me. Anyways, you know, in hotels, sometimes they even offer you shampoos in nicer hotels, but there's always some sort of soap in a hotel that I can use to wash my hair, and my hair has not fallen off when I have done it. So this one is the next shampoo I want to finish. I do still have maybe a couple of uses in, my, uh, in the shampoo that I have been using now. After that, I am going to use this one before purchasing a new shampoo. Then I do have here a couple of hair styling products and honestly these are years old but I just I'm so lazy with hair styling I just cannot do it and I don't typically use a lot of products. I do have this Paul Mitchell Extra Body Thicken Up Thickening Styler. This is like a gel type of product that you put to your hair before blow drying it. I don't know if it gives any volume. Maybe it does when you first have done the blow dry, but it won't last too long. So if you really want some volume, I think that uh, styling mousse is a better option. I'm not exactly sure how much product there is, but I would guess it is really, really low. Then I do have here a hairspray also from Paul Mitchell. It feels really, really light. Hairspray is something that I might use occasionally. Like if I'm going to wear my hair down, I typically like to put a little bit of hairspray here. Then sometimes if I want my low bun to last like the bun itself, because I feel this area, I can make more sleek with gel or wax or whatever but if I want this bun itself last a little bit better then I will apply hairspray there but that is not what I typically do right now at least because I just don't need my bun to wear for the entire day. Okay so those are all of the products I'm going to put into my quick end of the year project pan so hopefully I can get all of those products finished that I want to finish and with those products that I want to just focus on how I hope there are, is actually some visible progress with them but yeah I'm excited to start this kind of project pan I am probably going to film one update to this project somewhere you know in the end of November maybe and then I don't know if the finale is going to be the end of this year or in the really beginning of next year anyways that is everything for today thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it I would really love it if you give it a thumbs up and I would love if you subscribed if you have not subscribed already. Thanks for watching and see you on my next one. Bye bye.